Hi, and welcome to Anecdotes Wine Stories, recorded in Paris, France. In this episode, we're going to talk about natural wines, or vin nature, or vin naturel, as the French say. So what is a natural wine? Like, what does it mean? So basically, in natural winemaking, the idea is to, uh, first of all, like engage in organic winemaking in the vineyard, so no chemical treatments in the vineyard, but then take it a step further and during the whole winemaking process, so after the grapes have been harvested, to make sure that a minimum amount of additives are used in order to create a wine that is as natural as possible. So it could mean, for example, like not to add any yeast cells and use the yeast cells that are naturally present on the grapes in order to start the fermentation and or, or it could mean, for example, that the winemaker decides not to add any sulfite during the winemaking process. The thing is, there's no exact definition or like, certification for natural winemaking. So basically, each natural winemaker decides about what he or she feels what natural winemaking should be. Quite tricky, isn't it? That's why natural wines, like they can really be very different in the taste, in their identity. Like some wines are pretty similar to like classical, traditional wines, while other wines really have a very, very different taste. Well, for today's episode, I brought you a natural wine that I personally really like, and that's also quite surprising in its appearance and in its taste. And I want you to discover it, and we're gonna taste it together. So this wine is from winemaker Le Clos de Père in the Minervois, which is a wine area in the south of France. And the name of this particular wine is Il était une fois. Once upon a time. Does that mean in English? Let's open it and see what it looks like in the glass. Yeah, so actually, I never had a rosé natural wine before. Normally you see them a lot in red, you sometimes see white wines, but I never had a rosé natural wine before. So I was really curious when I tried this wine for the first time, like what exactly I was going to get in my glass. And let's pour myself some now to get the tasting started. Yeah, look at that color. You already see it in the bottle, but I think you see it even much better in the glass. It doesn't look anywhere like, it, it, doesn't, yeah, it does, just doesn't look like normal classical rosé at all. Like the color is a little bit more orangey, more like yeah, salmon orangey instead of like the, the light pink colors that you would get in traditional rosés. And you see that the wine is very cloudy. It's not clear at all. This means that the wine um, is unfiltered. It gives you this cloudy touch. Yeah, so a beautiful color, I would say. Um, some sort of orangey salmon, but nothing compared to traditional rosé wines. Let's smell it and see what sort of aromas that we get. Mmm, I smell a lot of lovely red fruit aromas, especially red currant and a hint of some strawberry and raspberry as well. And also something like quite animal, a bit wild, if I can describe it like that. Has much more personality than the average rosé wine that you would buy in the supermarket. That's really to get the aromas out of the wine. Yeah, very interesting, like it has a bit of like a mineral earthy notes and then that combined with the fruity like red currant and, red and strawberry raspberry aromas. Very interesting nose. Um, not something you should try if you more into like traditional roses because this is really something completely different. But I think, yeah, it's really something interesting there. Let's taste it. 
see what we get on the palette. Mm. Yeah, the nose scared me a tiny bit. I can imagine if you're not used to drinking this type of wine, that these sort of like wild animal sort of notes can scare you, but really on the palate, it's much more calibrated, much more balanced. I get a very, very nice freshness and very nice fruitiness. Um, again, like these red fruit aromas are really there, like the red currant, the strawberry. I get a very nice sort of like lemon hint as well that brings some freshness and it has this extra bite. It's very difficult to explain what it exactly is in, um, in natural wines because I have it very often when I taste natural wines, but it's a sort of this wildness, like sort of yeastiness, but it really adds some extra texture and extra personality to the wine. Um, yeah, surprising wine, I would say also the, it's I wouldn't say it's not a full bodied wine, but it has some body, it has some texture. Like this rose, you could absolutely eat with it. For example, have this with uh, a grilled tuna, for example, and that would really make a lovely meal. So, for those of you who would like, who dare to try a different rose that has nothing to do with like, the traditional classical uh, supermarket rosés, I would absolutely give this a go. It's, it's really different, it's surprising, and uh, in, it gives you a very different wine tasting experience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wine Anecdotes Wine Stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to, in order to be updated about the next episodes. And see you back soon. Cheers.